Hello, my favorite entrepreneurs and web developers. Today, I'm going to be demonstrating the easiest way, in my opinion, to install SSL on your website. Um, this is gonna be done on our Ubuntu 20.04 web server running Apache 2. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. This is a very important part of your website. You want it to be secure. You want you know, to be ranking well, um, and this is a big factor telling Google that your website is secure uh, and has a working um, valid SSL certificate. So uh, let's go ahead and dive right in. It's gonna be quick and simple. All right, so this is the website that we are going to be installing SSL on. As you can see, it is telling us our connection to the site is not secure as we currently do not have an SSL certificate. So what we're going to be doing is going over to certbot.org and we're going to go over to this little uh, click box, input box. We're going to select Apache and Ubuntu 20. It's going to automatically bring up uh, our instructions for our web server configuration. Of course, if you're using um, any other uh, web server, you're going to want to select the appropriate one. The next thing we're going to need to do is SSH into our server instance, or our website uh, server. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we are now SSH'd into uh, my server. What we're going to do now is move this out of the way. What we're going to do now is go ahead and make sure our version of SnapD is up to date. So as you can see, I have the latest version installed. You can go ahead and remove Certbot Auto. I'm not going to do that because I've never installed Certbot before. I um, imagine you won't have to do that either. So now we want to install Certbot. You can see we now have Certbot installed. We can prepare. Pre eh, tongue flab. Uh, we can prepare the Certbot command. I'm going to go ahead and skip that. Eh, skip that step as well. Cannot talk at the moment choose this top option um, you basically have two options when it comes to step seven you can automatically uh, have certbot you know, install a certificate for uh, your server and it's going to automatically renew it or you can do things manually uh, and get a certificate and make the appropriate changes in Apache yourself. For most people, I'm going to recommend this first option. So that's what I'm going to go with. So you're going to go ahead and add your email address for renewal uh, notifications. Now we're going to accept the terms of service. And um, you're going to select the um, record names or you know domain names that you would like to activate HTTPS for. I'm going to select all options by just clicking enter on my keyboard. It is now requesting a certificate for us. What we're going to do now is go back over to our website and refresh. And as you can see we are now being communicated that our connection is secure uh, and we have a valid uh, SSL certificate here. You can see our certificate was generated 5.30 in the morning on, oh, this is when it expired. My apologies. So thank you guys so much for watching my content today. I hope this really helps someone out there and I wish you luck with your website endeavors. Thank you for watching my video. Remember to drop a like and subscribe for more content and stay up to date in the technology and entrepreneurship world.